Hey guys, what's going on? Fran London here. You guys know what to do. As always, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Today we are talking about Nahuel Bustos. That's gonna, I'm going to try and pronounce it. I'm not too sure on it. As usual, I'm not very good with pronunciations. But he has been quoted, I think this was all happening on Instagram Live, as you can see here, revealed in an Instagram Live chat. Um, but he basically said, Chelsea in England, my dream. Forward, once transferred to Blues, has nine goals in 20 games this season. So if we go over what he actually said, you can see here he said, I'd like to play in Europe. Do you know where I'd like to play? At Chelsea in England. It's my dream. Now that is what we like to hear. Hearing like any sort of young player saying like, oh, my dream is Chelsea. I always love hearing that because when I was growing up, that was my dream, you know? And this guy, he, he can he can do that because he's been banging in the goals pretty well. So this article basically, you don't need that much more proof, you know, because uh he said he wants to come and it's very possible that we do bring him in whether he would be you know our starting striker that's unlikely you know at 21 years old it's very possible that we'd see him as a backup maybe maybe even like a third choice striker because we've got tammy who i think is the future of chelsea i think he is you know the, the main plans then there's talks of us bringing in someone like you know musa dembele there's plenty of strikers that we've been linked with throughout this whole sort of coming up transfer window so does this guy look like a star? Maybe not, but I think with 9 goals in 20 games, he certainly, if we did bring him in, deserves to be at least like a third striker sort of choice. Maybe go out on loan for a season, come back and see how he's developing. You know, if we put him in a, a difficult league, see how he performs. If he can do it, then we'd be like, you know what, you can come back. You could be second fiddle to Tammy Abraham or whoever our starting striker is. And if you perform well enough, you can get a spot on this team. So let's move on to take a look at this guy's stats. Now, as you can see, he is 21 years old, not too tall, I think that's under 6 foot, maybe like 5'11", 5'10", I think that might be, I'm not too sure. Uh, quite a light player, so you know, not so much of this physical imposing striker that you know we might see, but he is 21 years old, he's got time to develop. And you can see here in the Superliga, he's got 9 goals, 3 assists in 18 games, so that is a very good turnout. Um, average rating of uh, 6.94, 2 man of the matches. 2.7 shots per game, passing actually could be improved, but you know, not essential I suppose at striker. Um, aerials 1, 0.4, so as you can see he's not a sort of Juru that sort of relies on his head, he's not like a Tammy that uses his head decently, but you know, doesn't rely on it. Tammy's got quite good feet on him. This guy, I'm pretty sure is the opposite of Juru, he like, relies on his feet, not much of a header at all, so um two man of the matches as well that's quite good in that amount of games we'll take a look as you can see he plays striker 17 games there eight goals two assists he did play a center attacking midfielder uh for one game and got one goal with a 7.43 rating so we could see him slotting in there maybe and then we've got his characteristics as you can see his strengths are finishing and long shots two things you'll love to see from a striker so i'm fine with that by all means weaknesses are passing aerial duels crossing and defensive contribution so Crossing, not essential at striker. Um, aerial duels could be, you know, something that you'd like to see, but I guess that's sort of not his build, so we can't do much about that. And passing, again, like, not something that's essential, but it is good to see, like, Giroud's very good at passing, and you saw in the World Cup, he managed to win the World Cup without scoring a goal. Like, that's quite impressive, because he can link very well with other players. And then his style of play, he likes to shoot from distance, likes to dribble, counter-attacking threat, likes to cut inside, and does not dive into tackles. So all in all, very good sort of styles. I think that fits Chelsea quite well, actually. So it's good to see. And then you can see here his recent games. Getting goals quite consistently and assists. You like to see that. Bit of a stinker in this match where he got a 5.83. But other than that, and maybe this one, I suppose. All in all, very good rating. So I'm, I'm quite chuffed with this guy. He looks quite decent. If we take a look at his transfer market page, his value is only 6.75 million. Now I know here it says 9 goals, 4 assists. Whereas on this, it says Nangles 3 assists. Um, I've seen it on other sites where it says Nangles 3 assists. So I don't think that fourth one actually does count. Um, but yeah, you can see here, you can also play wings according to this uh, website. So you can play a striker, a slotted in a cam this season, and can apparently play on the wings. So that's not too bad at all. His contract runs out in 2021. So we could see a fairly good transfer fee for this guy if he doesn't sign another contract. I think he mentioned in um his uh, in this article here you can see that he said um if i stay in argentina i play at Talleres. i've always said so if they call me from boca or river 
uh, I stay in Talera. So I think he's very happy where he is now, but the future of his career is playing in Europe at Chelsea is what he thinks. So my personal take on this is that I think I'd be very happy to take this guy on. If it's a small fee, something around like 6 million, you know he's going to push for the move as well, which is a good thing because it always helps in negotiations if the, you know, the player himself wants the move, he can say, look, like, I'm not feeling it at this club anymore, I want to go. So if, if he starts saying that, maybe we can get him for a very good fee. I personally think I'd take it. I don't think he'd be starting for us. I think he'd go on loan or maybe be a third choice. Um, but yeah, definitely think I'd take this. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Let me know. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.